Hello world, this is Zan playing MA Arc Suffly in TLC Endworld, this is turn number 15. And it looks like most of us are doing our turns at right now, which is neat. We're, we're kind of like rushing through this, it's kind of awesome when uh, people don't wait till the last second every time. So turn 15, we got our first Dormant Pretender. That's kind of wild. And uh, let's see, so we head into the lake. And I don't know, maybe, maybe spoilers if I show the results first, but come on. We know uh, Kirby is just going to look ugly enough to win this fight. Yep. Yeah. I think it's a morale check against 13. Yeah, 13, so when you're at a base 10, it's, it's not going to be pretty. How about these guys? Still, wow. Wow, these tridents actually suck. Um, Pelagian tridents usually have much better stats and much better hit points. That's surprising. Oh, that's surprising too. The uh, Mace of Eruption, when you hit with it, it's supposed to make this uh, fire attack. Yeah, look at that. That range attack. I didn't know that that worked underwater, actually. Interesting. Oh, yeah, as expected. <laughs> Everyone gets turned to stone and that's over. Alright, so more events. Luck 3 coming in clutch. Coming in clutch. Yeah, whatever. I'll pay it. Okay, and I, I started talking smack in uh, in the chat, and in finally gave, gave uh, <laughs> let me have one mercenary. It looks like he lost the rest, so he must be in a pretty beefy war. Um, I know Ermor was over here. Uh, actually, I'm going to talk about that for a second. Ermor is over here, as I mean, we can already see. Um, and he's at war with Machaka. Maybe, uh, he's not at war with Asphodel. Uh, so he's at war with Machaka. Ind just lost all those mercenaries, so maybe he's at war with Ind as well. Or maybe Ind's at war with Naba, who knows. Uh, and Machaka actually started messaging me, because he saw this. And his message amounted to... He, he gave me a bunch of options. But the presentation of the message and the options provided were pretty much that he sees me as inconsequential. Like, give me the lake or else is really what I read from the message. And that... No. <laughs> no. When, when I talked to Tianchi and Asphodel, you know, we spoke like equals. Like, even Asphodel, like, we had this bump here, and, like, I think we're still pals, maybe. Uh, but, like, we were nice and friendly about it. This this was kind of like, hey, I noticed you're in the lake. You can give it to me now, or I can take it from you. And it's like, no, that that's not how that works, sir. Um, so this turn, I believe, is when I was going to go into Cape Hellas and risk this fight. Because, yeah, he has, he has just the Mountain King down here, so I, I don't think that's too important. So I think, yeah. Um, I think I'm going to go t do take the, the Cape Hellas thing, and then I'll come back to the lake later. And maybe he even attacks me with this. I don't particularly care. And I don't really want to recruit, but I can just do like a PD dump here, since all I have... In existence is gold, so I can just do a PD dump. Uh, what is the PD, anyways? That's yeah, kind of trash. Poison and spears are not good against the undead, so that sucks. Um, but I mean, it's so I can do. Maybe I get shark knights. No, no sharks. How expensive are they? Do I really want to pay that upkeep forever? Not particularly. All right, so I'll just do this little PD dump. I know it's an absurd amount of gold, but honestly. Uh, maybe, you know what, maybe in a few minutes as I keep recording the episode and I start building infrastructure, I turn around and say, no, I need that gold. But for now, I think I'm going to do that PD dump. I'm going to send in Kirby and these idiots to go fight in Cape Hellas. Uh, and how we're going to do this... Uh, no, you can hold an attack as well. Hold, hold, attack. Are we holding and attacking, or are we... Because they're going to have archers. They have a lot of archers, actually, fire flyers. They're going to have a lot of archers, and I think I might have these guys attack. There's not really a purpose for me in standing back, so... Let's do an attack, hold an attack. You're going to do your whole little bus cycle, but remember, we're going to do stone skin, and we need the uh, elemental resistance at the end there. Okay, and then I have her on attack closest uh, because I know these guys are going to get stuck on those uh, phantasmal warriors. Let's put you here, put you here. 
put you guys on attack rear. Maybe you can sneak through and fight some of the archers. Yeah. I'm trying to think on how this goes down in my head. Because I know the, the Pegasus Riders tend to just sit back and shoot arrows with the other archers. So what's going to go forward are the Heavy Infantry and the Phantasmal Warriors. And preferably, I'd like them to fight Kirby. Because she'll kill them all with her uh, magic weapons. However, she has to do her buff cycle before she can start doing that. You know, maybe I can get rid of Enlarge to maybe get, get her in closer. So you know what? I might have to actually wait. And if I'm going to wait then I need to be further back because thanks to TTT's mod, uh, <laughs> Archer Fire is painful. So I think I'll be a little bit back. I'll have her here. I have her on attack closest, which hopefully should land in the Heavy Infantry and the Phantasmal Warriors. And that'll give my uh, very slow moving hoplites the time they need to uh, march up unimpeded to the archers. Because if not, they're going to get stuck for a very long time on those, on those Phantasms. And I'm not down for that. So with that said, let's do this real quick. Uh, once that's done, if Kirby does not die, I'll send her down into Tentacle Deep. I'll probably by then I'll probably have to be retaking the the Great Balaton Lake. Uh, for now, I'm going to enjoy that 92 gold right there. Uh, I really have no way of getting across from here, and my main defense toward this lake against Armor is. Once I get Mindhunt ready, he can for sure try to take my lake. I'll just Mindhunt you. You, you and he's He has Astral Mages. Uh, they cost him, I think, 20 Death Gems each, which he could spend toward other more important things. So he can try, and even then, they're Astral 1. So there's still a chance that they get Mindhunted. Because I really don't care if my Astrologers get Feeble Minded, because I have healers. So, yeah, he can... Do whatever he wants. I don't care. Come come into my lake. I'll just mind hunt you. And then to get on to this side, I mean, maybe I could buy this province. I don't know, there's a river correct, uh, connection there. Yeah, no, I have no way of actually getting to him other than being a dick with Kirby 1. But this is my lake, and I will defend it. And I don't think there's anything he can send into the lake that's going to be able to deal with my Gorgon, especially as the game progresses and I get her actual gear. Uh, so yeah, let's do that. Here we have my things recruiting. Uh, still max on hurler points. Yeah, screw it. Okay, down here we have this bay. She's going to move in here. Both going to move in there. Or you can search. Now let's have these both move in here, because the sooner we can get these bone readers going, the better. I'm going to bump this up to 20. And like I said, if I need gold soon, then I I'll swap all this. Start recruiting. I don't know that one. Okay, thanks, Alexa. I... <laughs> sure. Um, okay, we have our lab here, so we're going to start making a mystic. And get me some hoplites, because I don't think there's fancy... Yeah, no, there's no, like, indie that I want there. Start building that. This mystic, I'm going to send him up here to build the next lab. Uh, this guy's going to come in here. This is just so I can fare my units around to the places they need to go. Yeah, because we're going to have cataphracts and a few hoplites from down here. We're going to have longbows from here, and we need to kind of unify all these armies. If I end up pursuing this war with Nabah, uh, that'll also give me access to Urmor, which is kind of neat. So mainly, I'm actually going to move you up here. It'll be ferrying all the troops to Morai's Grace, or the Ordos Groves. Those will be the two uh, primary provinces, I guess. Let's send him down that way. Okay, we've already got someone here, which is good. Let's go ahead and move this over. I still want to make all this provinces around uh, Temple Labs. So I can just, because like, this is kind of neat. This is, what, 55 gold a turn, and I'll get uh, the 7 Mage. The, the 7 Research Mage, which is 9 Research if they stay there, and 11 Research if they walk onto Arcocephaly itself. So I'll get um, plus... So we have magic 2 everywhere, but we'll get plus 1 from the magic, and then plus 1 because this chick has Inspiring Researcher. But yeah, so this is good to have this fortress, I'm building that one. And you see I still have an absurd amount of gold left over. Um, oh, that's not cool. 
Okay, no. I, I think I would rather have construction to next turn than... Uh... Really? Okay, then it's this guy that needs to stay. And you can move. 216, 216. Perfect. And that'll give me construction for next turn, so I can give this chick some better uh, defenses. So, let's see. The Master Druid is an N2 mage. I, Kirby is the one that's going to be building me the Thistle Mace, unless she dies, which would suck. <laughs> uh, if she dies, then all these priests that I'm going to be building uh, all over in my uh, non-forwarded Temple Apps, they will have to be on Call God for a while. And if she comes back, maybe she loses a path, and that'll suck. Um, I think Earth 4 is the important one. Although I don't have any Earth Gems, because I haven't site searched. And you, Mystics. I almost forgot that one. So we have a Mystic from there, we have a Mystic here. And then uh, once these Mystics start coming out, that's when that research is really going to skyrocket. So for now, yeah, let's do this. Uh, this 400 gold... Ah, uh, shoot. I don't want Zul'jin. Who's Zul'jin? Yeah, I don't want this Dominion up here. That's bad. But I really can't do anything about it right now, because I need these researchers. Is anyone else I can change to it? Oh, frick. Sixteen. Okay. Okay, that's good. Yeah, we'll have this chick come here. And he, he's talking... Uh, I forgot, the armor was, the guy mentioned, he's like, listen, I already have temples along the lake. It's going to be Ermor Dominion. It's going to die. Like, bro, I don't care. I'm going to have more temples than you. And I have holy two preachers. I don't have anything to do with my water gems. I really don't care about giving them water breathing amulets and selling it, setting one or two of them in the lake each and just having them preaching forever. And then whenever he tries to take the lake, now I also have a uh, someone there, a holy two casting banish. So like, dude, <laughs> I don't care. Stop throwing your weight around like you're heavy. You're not. You're some lightweight or more. I don't care. Maybe I'll eat my words later. But right now, bro, this guy. Okay, so I think that'll be turn 15. Uh, rambled a lot, as usual. But I guess it kind of outlines that. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for Naba. Uh, in fighting someone else, which also might be a good one. But, like, I'd rather go this way. I'd rather get through Naba so I can attack Ermor. Especially, i got to find out if this province... Because Ermor said he had two temple forts on the lake. So if the, he also owns this one, or this one, then yeah, Naba's the way to go to get to Ermor. We'll find out. Hopefully I don't lose. Well, there's End. I should write that down because it's not going to remember. Um, I don't think I need a scout there specifically. Let's head out this way. Or let's, yeah, let's head out that way. Um, yeah, so attack here. Stand there. That'll be the rest of the turn, and uh, we'll see. I really hope I don't lose this fight. That'll be embarrassing because this is a pretty easy throne. It can go wrong with the fact that those uh, that one chick might make two air elementals. And that might even be a problem for Kirby, because they're going to trample her. And I don't think the trample uh, triggers pet petrification. If she hits it with the Mace of Eruption, since it's two hits, maybe it could drop it down two sizes. And her being size 5 is going to help too. So uh, as long as she has the shock resistance and she drops its size, maybe she'll be okay. I hope so. Alright, that'll be turn 15. See you guys next time.